All right, what is up, everybody? My name is Micah, back with the next episode of Don't Give Up, a game I got from the Humble Store Vault thing. Uh, first episode, I really like this game. Pixel art's cool, characters are sweet. Uh, pretty funny, it catches you off guard. It's sort of the most realistic character, like, I've ever seen. But with that, we're just gonna get straight into this. There's a person here I'm gonna talk to. No, maybe. Ah, that girl is crazy beautiful. It looks like an old lady, though. Does she live here? I've never seen her before. <laughs> oh no, don't even think about talking to her. If she rejects you, you'll have to walk around your own building with a paper bag over your head. Hey, are you listening to me? Don't do it. I would scream this, but I'm not going to. What? Hey there. Nice. Women with the moon been startled them. Oh, hi. <laughs> Wing it because you're cool. Play it safer than Fort Knox. I'm gonna do that. See if it's definitely where to go. I haven't seen around here before. Did you just move in? Actually, yeah. It's my first day here. Well, welcome. I like how the character sprites, like, or I guess like the detail characters, they change with emotion too. Like, good amount of work went into this. So you look at the bulletin board over there. If there's anything you have questions, if there's anything you have questions about, my door is 2A. There should be a comma there. Mess me up. Management can be pretty slow responding to people. Liar! Your management is amazing at responding in a timely fashion. How dare you slander them? You'll do whatever it takes to get to the first base, won't you? Sis scum. <laughs> okay, thanks. My name is Billy, by the way. It's Billy Elish. Okay, she told you her name, don't overdo it, and there's a chance to walk away. I'm gonna get some pizza a few blocks down, that can bring you a slice if you're hungry. Uh, oh, no, that's okay. I was raised not to take candy from strangers, but I'm pretty sure that applies to the food, too. That's too bad, then. Hope your move goes well. Thanks. Well, I better get going. See ya. I ruined it. Okay, well, maybe. Did she go in here? Oh, well... Okay, good good point. Bumpy. What's this? A really generic looking leafy plant. <laughs> Leafy's here. They're pretty. Another leafy plant. What's this room? Mail. It's a package from Chapos, a major internet shoe retailer ran by an alleged Mexican drug lord. And in here, let's face it, the only bill I get are from bill collectors. Yes, probably true. Go over here. Hello? Hello, okay. How do we get out? Let me out. Oh. I can't understand how people rave about the sun. As far as I'm concerned, everything that has the power to hurt you from millions of miles away is pure evil. Sir, as much as I love you hearing your gripe about the sun, you should hurry before your pizza gets warm. What? If you dash to the store, we should be able to avoid tragedy. Hold left shift to sprint. Yeah, but which way am I going? I must be losing it. The pizza shop is the other way. I knew that was going to happen. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Ah, uh, coronavirus. I don't have it. Run, boy, run. There's a cat up there. Candy. Can I get hit by a car? Is that a duck? Oh. Pizza. Hello. Hey, I heard the margarita right over the phone. All right, I'll, it'll be another couple minutes. No problem, I'll just hang out. I'm gonna talk to this man over here with the cool tattoo. Hello? No, I won't. I like how they're bouncing. Oh, I can sit down and talk to people. Mohawk man. Oh, uh, hey babe, the Finkelsteins wants to come over for dinner next week. Harry, this needs to stop. How many times are we going to have to meet Martha's cooking to eat Martha's cooking before one of us ends up in the hospital? Oh, come on, that chicken was only undercooked one time. Okay, sir. I can't. I can't. Mm. 
Let me talk to you. Can I help you? Do you work here? No. Well, you've really answered your own question, haven't you? Oh. It's portraits of the current owners. If you ask me, this is the ingredients that deserve a place on this wall. Good pizza is good. So, was that a couple minutes? No, okay, well... Oh, margarita pizza for Tris, ready to go. Looks like my pizza's ready. Is that it? Nice. Whoa, whoa, are you serious? Oh, he ordered one before me, didn't he? Wrap to my pizza. This guy got here like 15 minutes after me. Sir, he's actually a pickup order. Yeah, I ordered over the fu- Was I talking to you? Ted Tantrums. Uh, mind your business and worry about that receding hairline of yours, Jack. Receding. <laughs> hairline? You know what? He's got no hair. Who cares? <gasps> what the F, dude? Fight me. This can't be happening. Here we go, boys. I'll teach you to take my pizzas. It wasn't your pizza. Oh, yes, yes, smack talk. I, wrong one. I just want to see your attitude really compliments that shit of pink on the back of your neck. Yes. Hey, thing seven grooming it also. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> that is feeling. Like, you should use more sunscreen in the future. The trailer park called. They want their outfit back. It's supposed to like have an uncle for a father. <gasps> Ooh, don't judge my pot. It's a, a trailer <laughs> No way. To this feeling, very, very confused. Oh, man. It's time for another order to take out the trash that it is. It's time to avenge my pizza. I know you didn't graduate from school and all, but smacking food on the floor bad. Your city slicker is always thinking you're better than me with your dang book of learning. Harsh. Ted is feeling insecure about repressed childhood memories. Is that it? It's a wrap. Up, up. It won't let me go up. Oh, I gotta go to the side and then up. You're fighting pretty good for a piece of steel and punk. What's wrong with you? How did I get hit from that? That ain't fair. Use a special. Oh, it's only when I'm not. That's right. <coughs> you ain't never see a tantrum like this. I've never seen anything like this. It'd be easier to deflect some attacks if my opponent worked up like this. Just have to press Q right before it hits. Oh, gosh. You gave 10 tantrums a piece of. A pizza that smackdown. Oh, a piece of that smack. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm just some noob who tries to get discounts on an assortment of eateries by pretending to be tough. Usually works too. Please don't continue kicking my butt. Uh, thanks for handling that. Sorry about your pizza. We'll make you another one on the house. Are you sure there isn't anyone else who's waiting on pizza? Because I might just have to order Chinese. <laughs> Ha, you're right, but that's a good fresh, uh, Tris got a fresh pizza. Oh, <sighs> tab. Pizza party for one at your apartment. Can I go in other stores? Sweet, I want to talk to like everybody. Ooh, but should I? No, I'm going to follow the quest. I'll talk to strangers I see. Like Duck Girl. 
I've got no purpose here. I can at least go inside. No, nope. can't talk to you. Hey, champ, I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks. I know getting around the city is is hard, and I'm here to tell you anything you need to know. Why would you do that? And what I told you, I'm rooting for you, man. All right. Can't leave. Dude, can't arcade. This place is amazing. Air hockey, basketball, classic, and modern titles. And see if we can Shack Shake. I don't think you'll get to go there just yet, though. Call it a hunch. Hunch. Just stupid. Alright, so that's my place. What's over here? Joe's Diner. Drink food, smoke, coffee. It's a Snoke. Into a police department. Deli grocery. Snack in the box. Alright. I think we want pizza. Hey, you. Can I change, sir? Gabba Gabba Goo Goo. This irrational response. This game is unreal. This is just perfect. <laughs> Oy vey, what the? Oh man, no, I'm done. I'm sorry, bro. I went through so much for that. Oh man, bro, I can totally see it. The passion in your eyes you got for this pizza. You had dreams of eating this pizza in the comfort of your own home. <laughs> you see crying? Oh crap, two maniacs here pizza. That's it, I'm off the pizza. How can I let this happen? I totally crushed your dreams, man. Certain dreams of sauce and cheese. Can you ever forgive me, bro? Uh, sure, it's not that big of a... I know what you're thinking. Look at that big dumb butt face with his giant sexy muscles knocking pizza everywhere with no consideration for another man's cheesy consumables. I'm out of breath. I bet you guys like me took all the girls from... Oh, I bet guys like me took all the girls from you in school and probably made jokes at your expense because of those weak arms of yours. Hey, wait. And to top it off, you got cursed with that <laughs> forsaken receding hairline. Male pattern baldness, bro. These gorgeous locks feel your pain. Receding hairline. Male pattern baldness. I'm fighting him. What? Sorry, bro. Sometimes I get caught up in my own empathy, you know? Name's Ryan, by the way. Take this and consider starting a fund for some hair transplant surgery. And maybe buy some weights. You know, there's no way I can kick that guy's hiney. But maybe I can at least get some good jab in him. I'm pumped. Wait. What? That could just give me a thousand dollars. Whoa. Bruh. This is about right for the price of letting this. <laughs> letting his hot muscle bones off the hook. Well, at this point, I think I'm better off just taking my chances with delivery. Okay. Yeah, it's time to get a third pizza. Oh, hey. Is everything okay? Uh oh. Hey, yeah, yeah, just taking a little break. On the hallway floor? I never said the break wasn't exhaustion related. I'm gonna offer some help. Oh, no, that's alright. My second wind is coming along in a second. You can't be a gentleman, aren't you? Chivalry isn't dead. <laughs> it's life support. Anyway, what happened to you? Looks like you're covered in sauce. Yeah, long story. Actually, not a long story, just a really weird muscle one. In any case, the pizza's in a better place now. Sorry to hear that. I'm sure he was a good pizza. The answer to that question now lies on my shirt, and I don't do shirt pizza. What can I say? I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. Anyway, I don't want to get in the way of your move. You should go home and get changed. Later. Hey. Yeah. I've got some takeout on the way. I was thinking of taking a break soon, and well, I'm sure there'll be enough for two people. No pressure. Oh. No, yeah, that sounds great. I don't need to get cleaned up first, but yeah, I could go for some takeout after the last hour of life. Alright, I'll see you in a bit then. Okay. Is that my house? Okay. Ooh, I have this bad idea he's gonna dress up for the party, get her to get the dinner, she's gonna think it's some crazy date, but yeah, whatever. 
All right, so bathroom. Take a shower in your clothes, cause that's what you do. Oh boy, it's that again. Uh, dressed. This outfit should be good enough for the party. Now I do believe I have a cute girl waiting for me to, t to eat takeout with her. You got overdressed, man. You overdressed. You way overdressed. Oh heck. I'm not exactly sure what door is hers. I know most of the people by face on this floor just don't know who moved out. What the heck do I say if the wrong person to open the door? I've been living here for years, but I'm currently looking for some random girl named Billy who moved in today but didn't tell me which apartment she's staying in. Yeah, no, that's not creepy at all. Alright, let's get creepy. <laughs> let's get creepy. Oh, it's probably... Okay, okay, okay. Am I too early? No, you're fine. The food actually just got here a few minutes ago. I should have gone to the wrong door on purpose. Come on in. Bro, why is your house so much cooler than mine? I'm really busy. I'm starting a new job tomorrow. Are right, you kidding me? I did a girl who had five dogs and two cats and two bit in your apartment. Really? Well, for like three days. <laughs> so it's on the menu. I really hope you got a thing for Ty. I will do a pun because I don't want to make it seem like I don't like it. But of course, I always say anytime, anytime me is a good time me for noodles. I'm pretty sure anytime is a good time to not tell that joke. Mm. I don't regret that decision. Hey, this isn't so bad. Where do you get this from? Pies and <laughs> pies and ties. Oh yeah, that place is really popular. I've never been much of a pie person, but maybe I'll have to reconsider. I don't want to say it's bad. I think that'd be pretty nice. If you want some sales and things here, I'll take up on that. Well, this isn't a no at least. So what do you do? <laughs> it's on this question. I better put a nice spin on it. Full time online gamer and very part time game maker doesn't really have a nice ring to it. Oh well, me? Tell me the truth. I'm a dream chaser. You're an unemployed, unrealistic dreamer is what you are. A <laughs> dream chaser? That's right. I'm a visionary. I want to make games for a living, so I put my heart and soul into it daily. It's tough stuff, 14 hour a day sometimes, really. Well, that's nice. You pay all of your bills that way? Busted. Well, we'll see ya. Uh, ambition doesn't always properly translate itself back into your wallet, but pride in one's own work is a currency in its own that I call priceless. That's right, folks. <laughs> when in doubt, just shout. I think it would be great to build something from the ground up that I'm crazy about, but the truth is not everyone gets to do that. The people out there in the world that don't even have computers, let alone the ability to make games, can really make something of myself and I want to try to apply myself the best I can. Hey, don't talk like that. You should believe in yourself until the very end if it's something you care about. I won't be the last person to embark on a failed adventure and if it doesn't go well, I hear the male stripper industry could really use lanky hipsters in their ranks. I actually have this really great stretch logic motto that gets me out of almost any rut. Oh yeah, what's that? My motto is... This is better than jail. That's your motto. What's wrong with my motto? It's a good motto. It's a true motto. <laughs> Well, it's certainly accurate. I'll give you that. You said almost any rut. Ruts does this motto feel this successfully combat? Well, it's simple. Going to jail, of course. Oh, haha, <laughs> funny. Hmm, it's getting kind of late, and I have a party to go to, so I am going to get going. I just realized what time it is. I promised a friend I would show up to a party while they're in town. Oh, okay. Sorry if I kept you. No, I actually can't stand big groups. Can we rage check the rest of this conversation? That'd be great. I give you my number and you can text me sometime. I will. That's very strange. Nice hanging out with you, Billy. Ooh, the ear rape again. Triss got Billy's number. 
All right, it's about time for me to head to the party. The fastest way there is the subway at Greensville Station. And with that, I'm ending episode two. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know if you want to see more. And if you don't, well, I'm probably still going to do it because I'm enjoying it. And I might as well record while I'm doing it. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.